Hello. The game has started. It's my opponent to go first. He opens with Chin. I have an awful rack. And just looking at ways of resolving it. Bund, I believe, is good for 19. Okay, the horror continues with the WU combo, one of the worst in Scrabble. Um, I do have the war and wall plays, and war with a H is good as well, although that's just face value, not a great rack leave. I have Wudu on my rack. Wudu doesn't currently play anywhere. Oh, actually it does. For 16 there. And that's about as good a rack leave as I'm going to get from this lot. So let's see what opponent does. I have Ordle here for a decent score, but an absolute shocker of a rack leave. That goes as I thought it would. Now... Ah, Wudu plays beautifully here. Yeah, would you believe it? 27, and that is a much better rack leave. Flappers through an E or a P. Um, uh, is, is Parfuls good, or am I thinking of Purfuls? I think it's P U R F. L E S. Yeah, Purfuls is good, but I don't think Parfuls is good. Uh, what about the F U L ending? That's always a handy one. Um, praiseful. <laughs> He was full of praise. I imagine that would be I and E. So that's not going to work. I was hoping my opponent would provide a floating vowel. But just the um, M to work with currently. So looking more at sevens on the rack rather than um, anything through the M, although you never know, it might, it might assist. Um, I have the farm component of a word. Um, farm, farm lapse. <laughs> um, pre falls. I have the un prefix. Un pun fun. I have the fun component. Fun. That un really does look like it um, assists this rack, but I'm not great at nines, so. So what to do? Um, I guess flap under moi would be second best to a missed bingo. 29 with a decent rack leave. Yeah, I'm going with this. That's a bingo for sure. Um, Restore plays here quite nicely, but that's a really good hotspot, so I think opponent might well be tempted to play under flap. If he does, then I still have this row M, column M to, uh, to work with.
just looking no parallel play there uh, the D the D could be of um, of use to me I have the ERS ending so I have terrors on my rack and that also plays as a four timer under flap yep that's been taken out <clears throat> so I will be looking at uh, words and uh, starting with an O or an E or yeah I'm looking at Austria. Hmm. Not. Ah, uh, maybe with an S. Buns. I think buns might be good. And sorters. Yeah, that's a nice one. I almost overlooked that. Okay, and I get blessed with another heavenly rack. Io dates toadies. And just looking at what this rack makes with another S. Isolated through the L, but oh my, no good. Perhaps my opponent will play down from the R and create another floater. Um, Iodates and toadies don't play above BI. I would need an O there. Uh, do I have a parallel play? Nope. Not alongside sorters. Opponent doesn't open up anything. So, is there anything onto this S? This is my question. Because I'd say that'd be that and the F are my only hopes at being going here. I have the ISO prefix, ISO, well, toadies and IO dates both don't take S's because they already end in an S, so it would have to be something like an IST ending or ISE ending, ISO dates, diodes. looking at my time not too bad no front hooks for strick um, just looking if I can dump a couple of letters here for a 20 something score and uh, leave myself with a great rack leave but I'm not seeing that ostiated through a T Ostiated? No. Um, okay, what to get rid of? Probably um, a D and maybe an O and an I wouldn't be a bad dump. And I've got the S for going at the end of. Do I play it here or do I create another? another bingo lane I mean I could potentially play IO here uh, that's very hot for bingos now but with such a flexible rack I don't mind it doesn't give back a whole lot to opponent I don't think 
It just doesn't feel best for some reason. Um, cause it's only seven points. I feel like I can score more. Um, yo, yo. Can I really not get across here without burning the S? Yod. That's better. Not a great rack leave, but it's 24. I'm going with Yod. Okay, I draw some vowels. So Latia is good. Does it take an S? So Latia. I think it might. Then again, it might not. I'll give it a try anyway. And does that E assist? It would be a 5 vowel 8 if it did. A lantos through an N. No N's available. And... Just looking at that F for some kind of compound word. Like a, I have the tail component. Tail. Oaf tails. <laughs> no. I have loaf. Ah, let's try Solatia's. No. I didn't have a good feeling about it. But I do believe that it is good as a seven. Now does the Z assist? I mean I can obviously play through it but is there a bingo with the Z? Azo something Azo Azo Azostius Lazo So, yeah. Well, very close. So Solatia. Now I have to be a hundred percent sure there's no lane for Solatia. I wonder if just Azo mightn't be better than Lazo because that's a really nice ra that those five tiles combine beautifully with this E and my T and my S and my I all play under the O. I'm going with Azo for twenty four. Right, that's looking quite. Bingo friendly. The B is the only fly in the ointment, I'd say. The rest of it very flexible. Um, Largo, good score by opponent, 29. So he's very close now. Um, I have the anti prefix, I have IEST, banal, yeah that E definitely looks like it helps this rack in some way, uh, still Still Ben A, but that's two E's, not an A. Still Ben A. Um, ah, these tiles are just so hard to get sitting where I need them. Still Ben A would be great, but Bland T's, Ben Tiles, Labinets, Indus. Tail bones through 
an O and an E. I've got to watch my time. Ah, oh, this is agonizing. I just know I'm missing something here. Something fairly familiar to me. Anyway, I'll give up the uh, the ghost there. And just play bun, I guess. I'm not taking out any bingo lanes here. Can I score better? Probably, but... I think this is okay. Bun for five. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Naliest, no, that's not a word. Alienist, yes. Um, hopefully that remains available. And it does. Anything with a W? No. Alienist. Alienist. Does it make anything else? No. I'm too short on time. I draw the blank and the X. So that's a welcome sight. Um, does my X have a hot spot to call home. I have Gox and I have Hox and Axe, but I think Gox gives less back by way of the trip. Makes it harder to play across as well. Gox for 31 or maybe just Ox Ox head. Is that worth doing for, no ways, for 33. I was just thinking, frustrate that lane at the bottom, because it's one of the last available. Um, oh, okay. That's an interesting play. He's created a bingo lane. I guess Axe would be all right. Um, just to take out the because that'll be a high scoring bingo if he does bingo there. Axe, there probably is a better play, but 30 points is all right. And that looks okay too, actually. I think there might be a bingo here. Yeah, Agaroth. Agaroth. But I need an A instead of an I. Um... Whoring, H-O-A-R-I-N, ooh, nice bingo. Um, do I have a bingo of my own through the W? Um, not that I can see. Uh, what are the scores? Oh, three. I might just go for goth and burn the blank. Is that crazy? See what it scores. 45. That's tempting. Yeah, I'm going with this. Um, I've got the V and the F for score. And I have F. A, no, that's where the store, or oh, far, far, oh no, far is no good, far, far doesn't score very much, 19, no, that's weak, um, vire, vire, 15, just to take out the lane, I've got to keep scoring, if I'm to outrun opponent, um, I've got to undouble the I's and the A's and get rid of an F or a V. It's not a lot to ask. Um, uh, that takes an R, so Reva should be all right. 
and then um, we've got the the V and the M. I'm down to a minute. Opponent's got the J. So if he gets a big J play, that could be a very close finish. Um, I need to get rid of heavy tiles because they could be to my detriment on count back if opponent goes out first, which I think he's aiming to go out in two here. Um, I don't want to play Vim because I think it'll give back too much. Off opponent's going to play his J now for sure, so Jive won't be. But do I have another play that doesn't give back too much score? Nothing to go at the end of Upo. Um. Fave. That gets rid of both the F and the V. And I quite like that if opponent doesn't take that spot. He's probably trying a J something L play. Uh, that seems like his best. Oop. Why can't I get this to Fave? Am I going to go with this? I think I am. Or Vim if that one opponents now does he have a j e l i don't see it i mean uh gene okay now if i play fave here because it's there's only 12 points in it he plays line but where does he play line um that's 17 for fave and this is, he can't play Liven, he can play Live, but then I play Far somewhere. Do I play Far somewhere? Gee, I'm down to 50 seconds. Far, yes, F, oh, no. Vim, I think I play Fave, that's 20. He gets... No, I'll go with Fave, I think. And aim I have there or here. I just couldn't see an out in two if I play Vim. Vim was a better score. Did I have Ajiva? I did. A J I V A. And MFA, no, just MF. I don't know if that would have been best. So I do have two spots for aim here and there. 14A is the better score, that's 14 points. And here is. 15. Oh, okay. I thought it would be more down the bottom, but oh, because you get the extra overlap. So this would be my play for 15, unless there's something on Klein, and that was the end of the game. So, um, that was a close finish. Um, let's see. 10 point win for me. I'll just have a quick look to see what we missed. Opponent to go first. He went with Chin. Sank for 30 was best. So not far off. And then Bund seemed okay for 19 with the consonant heavy rack. Patchy for 40. Pochi also good with a slightly better rack leave. So, um, Pochi, oh, through the H, yeah, same position. Wudu seemed okay, got rid of those dreaded U's and the W, so that was very handy to have that spot. And then 
Moy was um, my opponent's play. Not much in it really between those two, so moving on. Flap seems okay. Oh, flaps for 42 at 10c. Let's have a look at this. Flaps, okay, of course, getting value off the cube by pluralizing it. Flaps, wow, what a difference in score by just putting the S at the end. Okay, extra 13 points. Yeah, I think that would have been worth burning the S for, but again, equities both in the 60s, so pretty good. Um, Tox for 53 at 8A. Right, getting the K doubled. Tox across here making SMA. Opponent went with Strick for 29. And then Sorters seemed best with Bunds down here. And Doge for 30 was opponent. But Drongos. Wow. I think that's good without the E as well, but I'm not sure. Drongo's 13F across. Okay. Drongo's. Wow. Tricky one to spot. Um, an opponent got 30, which was pretty much the next best, so nothing wrong there. Uh, toadies and iodates, none of them played, neither of them played. Yod was uh, my score for 24, but um, analysis is suggesting a lesser score by 5 points, but with a powerhouse leave of EIST, which is definitely better than AIOST. So Oda for 6H, yeah. I quite like that actually, in retrospect. Um, then Loot, uh, Lutz was um, opponents for 26, Trugo for 29, keeping the Z. 8A, Trugo and Omar. Okay, that was quite a nice play because the Z, such a strong tile to have on your rack. Um, Azo seemed okay for 24, Lazo for 26, but I, I did like the L with these other tiles. It seemed to go very nicely, as well as with the E, um, so that was okay. Although there were two to come, so maybe that's why Analyzer is suggesting to get rid of it. And then... Wonga for 38. Again, that hook, none of us seem to be capitalizing on it. Um, opponent went with Largo. Oh, he did eventually hook it, but Wonga scored a bit more. Instable. Oh. Blasting as well onto the G. Oh, I didn't even contemplate ING ending words. I was just fixated on this E. And just racking my brains for for bingos on to that and didn't even contemplate. If I'd contemplated ING, I would have spotted it within a few seconds, an everyday word. Um, stabling another everyday word. So that's the thing with Scrabble is just keeping that open mind and, you know, becoming fixated on one region of the board can often, that tunnel vision can cost you big. In this case, it cost me, <laughs> cost me about 78 points. Anyway, um, I did keep a very strong rack leaf. This was opponent's play of 27, renew and ear now for 30 at H10. Ah, okay, very nice. Through the R, ear now. That looks like an archaic word. Um, okay, and then, so opponent wasn't far off the pace there with 27, renew, and then alienist 
Latinize, of course, I do know the word, and litanies um, for less, but Latinize, okay, perhaps means to turn into Latin or to, der to derive from Latin, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, um, happy to have spotted the bingo at least, and then double E with a powerhouse leave at J1. A uh, similar idea at 6H with OBE. And X for 30 seemed okay because I felt opponent was um, balancing towards bingos. And there are a lot of eight letter bingos ending in E's. So I just wanted to mitigate the danger there by taking it out with a 30 point play. Um, although Gox at 14A, ah, oh, there, okay. Um, no, still happy with my play. And then Rooties for 70 was opponents. Ustrail for 77 at A1 onto the L. A trickier one to spot. And then Longhair for 90. Five at A8, wow. Down from the L, long hair. I'll remember that one now. Oligarch, also playable for less through the L. And um, that actually would have been safe because there were no S's or blanks to come, so you couldn't pluralize it. Oligarch, very nice. Um... But long hair, the standout play. And I just went with goth for uh, 45, which I think was the, the right thing to do. Um, actually, let me just see if there were any other, other big plays across the top there. Wow, it's right down the bottom. Um, oh, yog. For 47 would have been even better. Y-O-G-H. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's it's an interesting one because I don't know if opponent did have a, a, a big J play there, but I just didn't want, when, with the scores that close, I didn't want to be hanging out for a bingo on a board that only provided a W as a floater and an L. Um, yeah, it, it just, I just wanted to be sure of outrunning opponent if I wasn't to bingo. So that was my thinking with Goth. And then I, 31, good score by opponent. Eyeline. Oh, he had Eyeline. I think that's playable, or is it only Eyeliner? Yeah, I think it, it might only be Eyeliner. Anyway, no bingo available anyway, so he went with I for 31. He could have get, got a four extra points with Aina at 3B. E-Y-N-E, nice. Aina, good with an I as well. So then Reva seemed best for 28, and Hua. And... Gene uh, for 27 was my opponent. He could have squeezed out three extra points with Geely at 14F. Getting the J tripled. Uh, Geely. And then he would have had double N. Geely. What would I have done if he did Geely? And could he have gone out? Well, Geely, let's have a look. 31 would have put him on 366. And then, well, I would have played Vim for, uh, not, not Vim. I, yeah, Vim I would have played for about, 15 so I don't know if um, he would have gone out oh, he would have gone out with Nan but I think I would have still had enough to outrun opponent 
And then flavor was best. For 18, I got 17, so that seems okay. I did identify the two outplays. So one was here and one was there, but opponent did go out first anyway. So that was the end of the game. Very close, very exciting. Hope you enjoyed watching that one, and I will see you next time.